we as architects, or I specifically, have encountered multiple situations where we've been challenged. And we are challenged because many times we're not able to provide what it is that the neighbors or the community or the city officials or the developer or the contractor wants. And so what they say is that time is the best factor. And what I see is that the challenge is so frequent because we have so many projects going on and so many jobs that you have like this Honduras project. I was brought upon because other architects designed concrete buildings which were five to ten stories high. Um, and with the time and the ability to understand what's going on, I was able to shift it into a direction that's completely different. We do that with historic buildings. We, I gave you the example of the surf club, how the hotel came about within the preservation of the building. And we do it on a continuous basis. The ability to see, perceive the problem, the issue, and listen to people, but really listen to what people want. Every job we have is challenging. And, and every situation, the reason people come to architects is to put their problems into something that they can enjoy. And it's, all, it's the same old story of taking a lemon and making it into lemonade and, and taking something that is negative and making it into a positive. And that's really why I think we are somewhat successful in this community that we're in is that we're able to continuously and repeatedly come up with ideas and suggestions that others didn't look from that perspective. Not missed, but they didn't see it from that perspective. So it's an event or it's a movie that you see, but you happen to be in the right corner seeing it in a different angle. And if you're able to present that angle, um, people go, yes, that's the way I want it. Somebody said to the Acropolis, let's not walk straight in, let's walk around and around and around so that when you come, you go, oh my God, wow. Somebody said, the dome of the Duomo is great. Let's see it from a distance when we get to the city and go, wow, what is that big thing? Mm. But then once you're in the city, you don't see it because you're inside these little vistas going around until you get to the plaza and to the piazza in front and go, oh my God, I'm in front of it. Look how big it is. And that's what it is. It's the theatrics and the impression. So I think the, to answer your question, the challenge exists everywhere on a daily basis. And that's part of life. And I think it's part of what we do as human beings and civilization. And then finding the uniqueness of the right angle is how we find the solution to it. And it's hard. It's really hard to find, you know. I have a picture on the wall with Gorbachev. Gorbachev is one of my heroes. Why? Because what he did in the period of time that he did helped me move myself into a completely different realm. I grew up in Austria. I lived there during communism when, when Chernobyl happened. My parents were from Eastern Europe. So when I met him, I said, hey, very nice. Nice to meet you. Great job. So what's your name, Kobe? I said, good. We're going to take a picture together, like a selfie. You see that picture? That's a selfie. I had a Yashica 35 millimeter took a picture. He takes pictures with nobody. And the security guard behind him was not happy. But that opportunity is a once in a lifetime. Like more, meeting Morris Lapidus and bringing him into the fold. Or meeting Bill Clinton. You meet Bill Clinton. You say, hey, how you doing, Bill? Good. And he says, where are you from? Just like you asked, where are you from? So I was born in Israel. Oh, so you got, you're from Israel. So you, you're used to voting for women as prime ministers, aren't you? I said, yes. If your wife ever runs, I'll support her. Really? What's your name? Kobe Carp? Yes. Good. Bye. See you later. Five years later, I'm sitting right here with my legs on the table. Bill Clinton on the phone. I thought it was, you know, the Clinton Foundation or something. Bill himself. Hi, right, is this Kobe Carp? Yes. Will you still support my wife if she runs? Of course. 2008. You still married? Yes. Good. 
Your wife will support too? Of course. That's how she ran out of support until Barack Obama came. So that, those are the kind of people that you meet in life. And I have a little son who is in that picture right there, Aiden, charismatic. Not because I tell you, because everybody else tells me. The guy he's talking to, you see who he's talking to in the picture? Do you know that guy? That guy talks to nobody. Magic? Magic. Magic is a very smart individual. He does not like to waste his time. But he, in a public space, he found something to speak to this character about. Not only speak to him, but that character makes him smile and laugh and remember him in perpetuity. And that's what life is about. That's, you know, the challenges of taking something and changing it around. And, and he, I, I think that every day there's a challenge. Every day there's a challenge, whether it's personal or it's health, family, war, you know, economies, all of that. 